Thanks for joining us and uh, thanks for the time. Just to start us off, can you just um, let us know a little bit about your thoughts on today's um, hard fought match against LAFC? Um, it was a hard match. Um, and they scored on a two set pace goal first half. Even though we had started well the, the, the first 15, 20 minutes of the game, uh, we had a lot of chance during the game, uh, second half especially. And you know they, it just for us was just uh, they just, they just scored out out of the blue. You know we didn't expect them to they they to score, and I think just this gave us a bit more energy for the second half. And then just, we had a uh, one more mistake, and then they scored. Uh, we tried to 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 get the game equal, but it was late. Uh, but I think we had we were there, we had the energy, we had everything, we did everything we could to 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 draw the game, but it was hard. Yeah. Thank you. We'll start off with questions, and we'll begin with Jonathan Siegel. Hey there, Evan. This is Jonathan from the uh, from MLSsoccer.com. Um, wanted to ask how you felt you've adjusted to MLS so far whether that's finding the ball, finding the right spaces that you want, tactically working your way into this team. Um, how have you found these first two games and good, bad, and otherwise? Um, I'm, I'm getting adapted. Um, it's low in getting there, getting the connections with the, the players, with the team. Um, we still, I'm still knowing the, the some of the players, um, learning how how they play, how the team play as well. But I think we are on the right way. We're, we are doing well. Uh, unfortunately, the result today doesn't show how how was the game. Uh, I think we, we did much, much better than, than them. Uh, but yeah, um, I think uh, it's just the second game and we're still gonna, we're gonna fix the some mistakes that, that we made in the two games. Thank you. We'll go next to Sam Spiller. Hello, Amanda. Uh, congratulations on your first MLS and uh, Timbers goal. Uh, like you said, it looked like the team had a lot more chances, a lot more opportunity. It was more open in the second half. What were some of the shifts that you saw on the field that kind of helped contribute to that? Uh, I think when we, we brought the energy to the field, I think when we started fighting the game for the game, for the ball, we starting, uh, you know, just playing our game. It, it was much better, and then because we could we could equalize in the in the fight and the and the duels, and then our technique was much better today, and that's why you had more chance. Unfortunately, it was a bit late the the, the energy that you you brought to the field, but if you if you had brought into the game a bit early, the game would have been different. Thank you. We'll go next to Rocky Serna. Rocky, go ahead. Yep. Okay. Hi, Evander. Uh, congratulations on your first goal. Uh, I know it wasn't celebratory enough for you, um, but do you have any celebration plans for goals uh, in the future when we're, say, winning a game? Um, yeah, I'm, of course, I, I'm happy to score. I'm happy to, to help the team uh, fighting to the end. Of, unfortunately, we cannot celebrate as we won it because of the result of the game as well. Uh, but I hope it's the first goal of many. I hope I can give much, much more goals and much, much more assists for the team during the season. As I said, just the second game, we still, we still, you know, getting the connection. We're still fixing some, some, some spots on the field. But I think we, for the next game, will be much, much better. Thank you. We'll do one last question. Jonathan, go ahead. It seemed like in the second half, you were finding more time out wide compared to the middle. Um, would you agree with that? And how did you find that adjustment uh, to maybe get you on the ball a little bit more and find space? Um, it was it was because of the game, the way that the game was going on. Um, we had to go for the risk. We were losing 3-0 three, three and then of course, the coach wanted the team more offensive, and then that's the the position that he he put me to do on the field. 
And then we had to take the risk. I was a bit more forward, open on the left. And then, you know, getting more more getting more on the ball, getting more to go for the one v one using the one of the my, my characteristics. And that's that's the that was that's worked a little bit. Uh but I think the in the end of the day the team did well in the second half. Uh, and that's how it should play. Thank you, Vander. We'll wrap it there. Safe travels home. Thank you. Hi, Gio. Can you hear me okay? Yes. How are you? Good. How are you? Um, we will get it started here. Uh, can you just let me know, let us know a little bit about your thoughts on today's hard fought match? Yeah, I mean, we, we knew that uh, always when you come here, uh, it's going to be a competitive match. It's, these matches are always, uh, I think, entertaining. Um, I thought the first half, um, I think their experience was uh, the different maker. Um, they were able to find two goals. Uh, in corners, I think they were clever. Um, I don't think uh, they created much, but also uh, in our part, we, we could have been better in regards to taking advantage of a few moments that um, that we found inside the, the box and and be a little bit more clinical to and, and, and clever to to make sure that we took a little bit more on them, uh, the things that uh, we could have done. Um, so I think we we're a little bit too passive. Um, in the first half, but uh, we didn't feel under pressure only on on the corners, uh, which is something that we need to continue to work. I think is I think uh, it, that was the area that uh, maybe they took advantage. I mean, they have um, big uh, players, and and they made a difference in those moments. So the the second half, we we started uh, a little slow. Um, they they took advantage of a couple of opportunities. We opened ourselves a little bit more, trying to get the game. And I think when when we made the substitutions and we changed the system, I think uh, we took the game to them. Um, and I think with a few more minutes, I think we tied the game for sure. Uh, it was our game at that part, at that point, and uh, we played extremely well. Those uh, final moments, we we found Evander in good areas. We had a, you know a, in the middle players that were more dynamic um, at, at that particular time. Um, we released the, the win backs at that moment with the three in the back and we were able to cost them a lot of problems. And, and as I said, with a couple of minutes extra, I think we tied this game for sure. Thank you. We'll open it up to questions and we'll start with Jonathan Siegel. Hi, Gio. Jonathan here from Los Soccer. Um, Evander, you just mentioned how he found some better spaces in the second half. You guys moved him out wide. Um, how have you seen him adjust to, to MLS in his first two games and trying to get the most out of him? Because, of course, he's a huge piece of this team, and not just now, but long term. And I think it's fair to say you guys are still trying to get the most out of him as a player. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's about uh, trying to put him in the best situation um, and that the players that are around him um, – also feel comfortable to be able to find him in, in those good areas. Um, and I thought that in the second half, uh, being a little bit more, uh, you know, high up uh, on the left side, um, we find him a, a lot more. He created more problems. I think he's still adapting to the speed of the the MLS. I think the, the more that he's going to play games, the better he's going to get. We see the quality that he has. He scored a, a good goal, um, and it's important for us to see him scoring. Um, and I thought that at second half, he had a very good half, very good um, half. Um, but now he, he has to continue to, to, uh, to adapt to the league. And, and this is a league that is very up and down, very fast. And um, I think he's adapting pretty quickly. Thank you. We'll go next to Sam Zviller. Hi, Coach. Uh, tough loss. Um, like you mentioned, you said that it looked like the team found some more space in the second half with the wingbacks. Um, what exactly were you looking uh, from the team? Was that your intention? What were some of the changes you hoped to see tactically in the second half um, after those substitutions? I mean, we were trying to find, uh, you know, the best version of ourselves. Uh, we continue to work to make sure that we can put everybody in the best uh, situation. Uh, I thought in the first half, um, even though uh, I don't think LAFC was dangerous only in the set pieces. 
Um, we still didn't have the cleverness. We still didn't uh, have the fluidity of play going forward that we wanted to. We still created chances. We still had a few moments uh, going forward. Santi's 1v1 with a goalie. I think if uh, he goes one time, that does a goal. And in a few other moments that we're missing just the final pass, the final combination. So those things are, are things that we have to continue to work. But in that work also, uh, we find in, you know, as I said before, the, the best version of ourselves to make sure that the players are put in the best positions. And in the second half, I thought uh, the guys that came in and the way we played, uh, we caused um, LA a lot of problems. And we could have, as I said before, a couple of extra minutes, we tie this game and then we could have won this game as well. We'll go next to Paul Danzer. Hey, Gio, talk about LAFC's midfield and how you tweak things with Eric moving back deeper, it looked like, in the second half and how that impacted the game. Yeah, I mean, the three midfielders that we had uh, at that particular time in the second half uh, was Chara and Eric uh, plus Paredes. Uh, the idea is just to make sure that Chara was the one a little bit deeper and Eric trying to be a little bit higher with Paredes. But I think they balanced themselves very well in those moments, especially they took out of the ball in a good way to be able to transition us, you know, smoothly and uh, in order for us to create those moments that ended up being goals. I think, as I said before, uh, a couple more moments, uh, a little bit more uh, a fluidity in 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 uh, in those combinations. Uh, I, I think we could have gotten a little bit more, uh, but. Very proud of the attitude of, of, of the of the team in, in the way we finished the game. Thank you. We'll go next to Rocky Serna. Hey, Gio. Uh, sorry about the loss. Um, it looked like we sat back a little bit like we did versus Kansas City. Um, is, is, is that something that Liam is teaching the boys to do on the field, or are they just sitting back too far when maybe you want them more forward? Yeah, no. First of all, it's, uh, it's not something – I didn't see something similar from this game today and what we did uh, against the Sporting Kansas City. We pressed completely different. Uh, we pressed 4-4-2. Last game, we played more with a 4-3-3 that ended up being with five midfielders. That's why we changed uh, to be a little more aggressive, to press a little bit higher. Um, the work that has been done defensively is more on the details uh, with Carlos uh, being the leader of, you know, working on that with Liam as well. So both of them have been working to make sure that we can get stronger defensively, but also uh, Miles, the, the staff is continuing to work with the fluidity of play going forward. So it's a ongoing work. As I spoke to the guys, now we have to continue to put the work in to get better. Uh, but uh, we didn't come here to be able to uh, go backwards and, and defend. I think that we created our moments and especially in the second half, I thought we were the better team towards the end of the game. We'll go back to Jonathan. Do you see yourself possibly starting Nathan uh, from the start from from the jump? He's he seemed to come out and be lively and, and at least make an impact, uh, especially on that second goal, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's always competition in every position, uh, and Nathan is is competing very well, and he's putting himself on a situation that, uh, you know, he's pushing me to you know uh, to to get more playing time. So uh, that's a competition in every position, and and uh, those are decisions that have to be made. We'll go back to Sam Spiller. First, love to hear your thoughts, Coach, on uh, the play of Claudio Bravo. It's his first appearance in 2023, coming off an injury layoff. Uh, he looked like he brought some energy to the field. Uh, yeah, just your thoughts on his play tonight. Yeah, I thought I uh, thought the three players that came into the game, Mabiala, Bravo, and, and Paredes, brought a lot of energy into the team. Um, and I think that's also the reason why the team uh, elevated the, the level at that particular time. Bravo specifically, uh, we were working with him to make sure that uh, we put him in, a, in, a, in a, the best possible uh, situation for him to be able to get minutes, to be able to continue to uh, recover. Um, it's not easy sometimes, even if you uh, had an injury, you know, you need time to be able to get the minutes. And I thought today he played very well. He came into the game. Um, he didn't look off at all. He looked like uh, he was very comfortable and uh, he created a lot of good moments going forward. All right. We'll wrap it there. Thank you, Gio, for the time and safe travels back. Thank you.